everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can read by the title of this video, we are going to be doing a Sephora haul. Or in the words of Bunny or Graveyard Girl, for those of you who love her on YouTube, it's Sephora Hurl. Yes, so excited. So we're doing a Sephora haul. This is my first Sephora haul on YouTube, so I'm really excited. And the whole reason that I'm doing this Sephora haul is because on Sunday, July 20th, it was my birthday. My boyfriend couldn't be around for my birthday, so he got me a $50 Sephora gift card as well as a complimentary makeover, and then I got another Sephora gift card for my parents, and some birthday money so I spent about three hours in Sephora. I was like a little kid in a candy store. I don't go buying a lot of stuff at Sephora often and this was a really good opportunity for me to try some new stuff. So let's just dive right into here. The first thing we have is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. It locks in your style longer and, and it's literally what it says. It's a prime style extender. So you put this in your hair when it's still damp right after you get out of the shower. And I've noticed that my hair dries a bit faster and then the style just stays in longer. If it's like really humid or hot outside, my hair doesn't seem to budge from it. So it's been pretty good today. Just I always straighten my hair because that's uh, my comfort zone and it's pretty good. And plus the smell of this, I don't know what it is about it, but oh. for those of you who own any of these Living Loop Proof products, I'm pretty sure you could vouch for me. They smell awesome. So boop. Alright, next we have this absolutely adorable little Sephora bronzer and cheek blush palette. I think that's what it's called. I don't have the packaging anymore. But a really cute little sleek packaging. It says Sephora on the front. You open it up. Oh, if I can open it. And you have a bronzer and some blush. And it's so cute. The bronzer is Los Cabos. It's a matte bronzer. The pink is called Blushing Pink. The light pink in the middle and then this pink over here is called coral punch blush so a little bit darker and all of these colors are very pigmented and really pretty like um i was worried about the really pink one coral craze like oh gosh it's gonna be crazy but it's not too harsh or in your face i don't know if the camera is picking that up at all but it's really pretty and the light pink is just your standard baby pink blush and the bronzer is perfect for contouring it's i have a hard time opening this um it's perfect for contouring this color right here because it's matte there's no shimmer in it and it's really pretty it's good for my skin tone i have light skin tone so i think anyone could pull that one off it's not too dark or it's like just in your face all right, next is another another palette, which I am still obsessed with this. I can't get over it. I really wanted to get the Anastasia Contour Kit, but like always, it's out. So I decided to get a different one instead because when you walk into Sephora, they have their genres of like makeup or what's new. And of course they have the contour area and they have like makeup forever. And I tried this with my makeover and fell in love with it. This is the Smashbox Contour Kit. And this is actually the box that it comes in. So it shows you the bronzers and you also get a free brush with it. I don't know if you can see that. And I really like the box though because when you open it up, if I can open it up, you have, it folds out like this at the back and it gives you little tutorials on how to contour bronze and highlight so i thought that was really cool so this is this is the packaging smashbox sleek and pretty open it up <gasps> ah, i know it's a little dirty right now but these colors are i believe similar like they say if you don't have the anastasia contour kit then you if you don't have the Anastasia contour kit, you should go with this one. Highlight shade, your bronze shade, and your contour shade. And all of these colors are really great for my face, my skin tone. Um, I was worried about the contour shade. It was a little bit darker. I don't know if you could see that. And it's like, it's like, ooh, is it going to be weird? No, it looks really nice. These are pretty good sizes for them too. And also, if you could see here by the mirror, it gives you like little step-by-step -step where to highlight, where to contour, and where to bronze. So if you're new to it, there's step-by-step -step guide right there. And it also comes with the brush. Here we go. And here's the brush. It's on the smaller side, but it's really cute. And it's really soft as well. This And it's angled, it's like an angled contour brush. So, and literally it says contour brush. So literally for the contour, you could use it to do the bronzer and then um, the highlighter as well. You know, cheeks, nose, chin, forehead. Oh, it's, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Next was a repurchase and this is the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. This is gonna be my forever holy grail item because this is the only setting spray that ever has locked in my makeup the whole day. I've tried so many other setting sprays and 
they just don't do it for me. Majority of people I know agree. They love this. And some people don't know what a makeup setting spray is, and they're like, you spray your face? And yeah, and my makeup doesn't melt off at the end of the day. I like the D-Slick because I have an oily face, so this is good for oil control. If you got an oily face, I would try the D-Slick. Next is my new favorite foundation of life. This is the Lancome. I'm probably gonna butcher this. It's the Taunt Idol. Taunt Idol. <laughs> the Taunt Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup Full Coverage Foundation, and it does have SPF 15 in it. This is what it looks like here. Very sleek, fro like that frosted glass bottle type. It also has the pump, which I'm big about pumps. I love it when foundations have a pump. I know some don't, which is kind of blah. But this is really pretty. It has a flawless like finish and it doesn't look too cakey even though this is 24 hour wear and it is full coverage. I only need like four pumps and then I use my beauty blender and it's perfect. And what I do notice about it, it lasts all day. I notice my face still looks really good at the end of the night and I feel bad taking my makeup off when I go to bed. So I'm like, oh. Until I see you again tomorrow. Next. This, I was really excited about this. I've never owned and I've never owned any NARS products before. I went in with the intention of purchasing NARS Orgasm Blush. I know the name, what? But it's a cult favorite for those of you who know. It's more of a shimmery, peachy coral color and it's gorgeous. So I went in, of course it was out. So I went with my second option, which I saw this on Trisha Paytas' video. Um, she wore it on her cheeks and I thought it was really pretty and this is actually called this is called for those of you who are sensitive cover your ears it's called but this is another favorite everybody likes because it's a really pretty pink blush color it's not corally it's literally like a pink color and I'm wearing it right now it's not too orangey I think that's one thing that I like about it it's just a nice pink color and it's not red it's perfect a perfect flushed cheeky color and I love the packaging, everyone knows NARS packaging, but I love this weird rubbery feeling. So there is that beautiful color right there. It's gorgeous, it's amazing, love it. And it lasts all day. I noticed that too because a lot of blush tends to wear off or flake off at the end of the day, especially when it's hot outside. This I noticed stays on, it stays put. Yep, stays put. Next is something that I've been wanting to try for a little while now since it came out recently and it's the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And when you buy this, you also get the Urban Decay Subversion uh, Lash Primer, which I've never used a lash primer before, but I use this, and I use this, and my mascara doesn't flake, doesn't come off, it doesn't budge, it doesn't smear, it doesn't melt off, and this combination together is great. I love this mascara, by the way. And the wand is just your standard, standard wand, it's nothing too special about it, but when they say bigger, blacker, badder lashes, I absolutely 100% agree. And the packaging, first of all, is really sleek and beautiful and I love it. It's the way it makes my lashes look, plain and simple. And the lash primer really helps to make it stay on. So I would get this because you get both of them in one. Yeah. Next, I have three lip products. The first one is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Peony, which is what I'm wearing right now. And I've been wanting to try this forever. I was dying to try this for such a long time. I finally got it. And this is such a nice pink color. And it, the application is really easy. Just your simple applicator here. It's a weird spongy tip thing and you squeeze it and it has little dots that just come right out of the top there. And you just... And there you go. I like how it goes on. A little liquidy and then it mattifies like a lipstick. It's liquefied longwear lipstick. It, who would have thought? Next, I love Kat Von D so naturally I had to get one of her new lipsticks by her, her new collection. It's the Studded Lipstick Collection. And first of all, let's talk about the packaging. Um, hello. That is amazing. Black studs. Fabulous. Glamour goth chic. Ugh. And the color that I got is... L'Eco de Femme, and it's a beautiful pink corally color. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. The formula is different from her other lipsticks. First of all, the smell smells like MAC lipstick and Lime Crime. The vanilla y smell, the application is a little different, but it is still matte and it still stays on all day and the color is just absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't have a sheen to it, it is literally matte finish. When I mean matte, I mean matte times a million, and it is not gonna go anywhere. It is 
Wonderful. I'll swatch this for you real quick. I'll do it right here. Swatch, 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 swatch. Okay. So that is what Le Col de Femme looks like. It's, it's a really pretty pink color. If you can see that. I absolutely love it. It's a perfect summer color. It's gorgeous. It actually matches my skirt that I'm wearing right now. That's funny. The last lip product I got is something that I've wanted forever. The last lip product I got is something that I've been wanting forever and I never bought it because I couldn't justify spending $35 on a lipstick but everyone raved about them and I even tried it on in store and I was sold. The minute I put it on I, I fell in love. So I finally got one and it's the YSL um, Rouge Volupt Shine Lipstick and first of all the packaging I absolutely adore. It's gold and it has the YSL symbol on it. Even when I'm done with this lipstick I think I'm just gonna keep it anyway. It feels very glamorous and luxurious. I think that's the word luxurious, beautiful. I'm putting Estée Laurent on my lips. It's gorgeous and I know my accent is terrible. But the color that I got is in number nine. They go by numbers. And they do have the names of them in store, but this is number nine or nude in private. So this is a nude color. Um, love it, love it. it oh, can you see it? Can you see it? It's just gorgeous. Really pretty nude color. And one thing that sold me is the application and the consistency of it is very creamy. The absolute creamiest is this bottom one right here. The creamiest lipstick I've ever put on my lips in my entire life. Easiest application. It almost feels like a lip balm going on, but it's so smooth. And literally, the word that I feel, the word that I can describe it when I'm wearing it is luxurious. That's how I feel. And this color is just so amazing. I'm obsessed with it. Maybe I should put it on over. Mm, give my lips like a little shine. And just for fun. Mm. Last thing was because I had spent so much money on my account and they were like, you need to get something. I was um, eligible to get the 500 point perks and they just came out with the benefit hot rageous hits. Yes. And you get five items. They're all sample sizes, but you get the Hula Bronzer, which is another cult favorite I've never tried before and I did and it's just amazing. So this is actually the size of it right here. It's just a kind of small packaging of it. You also get the Benefit Professional, which is another favorite. The What's Up Highlighter, um, the Very Real Mascara, you can always have that with you, you can never go wrong. And then the Lolly Tint Cheek and Lip Stain. I actually use this on my lips and it applies liquidy like a lip gloss, but then it dries and it's a stain. Literally it's a stain, it feels like there's nothing on your lips, it's crazy. Um, I haven't used it on my cheeks because I'm worried, I'm just like... I don't know how that would look on my cheeks, liquid, and then it just mattes, and what if it's not applied right, you know, and then it's like weird streaks, that's, I'm worried about that. But it's really pretty on the lips, so I give them that. If you have some points saved up and you have enough for 500 points, I had it backwards, but this is available right now, so I would definitely get your hands on this if you're a benefit makeup cosmetic lover like myself. It's awesome. Well, there you have it. There is my Sephora haul, and this was all for my birthday, and I had a really good birthday, actually. It's really low-key, but I, I had a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe or give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.